Good morning, children and parents. Here we are back again. And I wanted you to see very quickly this lovely yeast that has grown overnight. So I'm going to take this off and let you look at how much it's grown there. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to knock it down, so to speak. I'm going to stir it in like this. And you can see how much less there is now because it's gone down. Now there are some different steps you need to be, you need to take. And one of those steps is that before you put any salt in this, you have to, yes, save some of it for the next time. That's why it keeps going and going and going. So I'm going to take out, oh, one spoonful, two spoonfuls. That should be enough, but just for safekeeping, I'm going to take a little bit more. And then I'm going to put that aside and I'll take care of that later. I have to, whoops, I have to cover it. <laughs> I've got flour and yeast flying all over the place. Um, I'm going to have to cover this and put it in the refrigerator for the next time. So I'm just going to set it aside there. Now, a little bit later, I'm going to come back and we're going to do the, the other yeast together with other flour. But right now, I'm going to show you how I'm going to go ahead with this sourdough culture. We call it a sourdough culture. You can call it yeast. The yeast in the packets are pure yeast. Little pellets, little dry pellets. This is not pure yeast. This has a lot of flour and it has water in it. And lots of little of those little yeast things are inside of here. So I'm going to take all of the rest of this now and put it into a bigger bowl because we're going to need a bigger bowl. There we go. Not only that, I have an instrument that I need from over here. Hold on. Don't go away. Here it is. How wonderfully it cleans out a bowl. You can see it leaves almost nothing in there. Yes, well, there we go. Now I'm going to finish this up and then put it aside and then we'll come back in another, in another moment with the other bread that we're going to make, okay? We have our sourdough culture here. We have some tepid water. Tepid means not cold, not hot. Two cups of it. It says right there, I think. Two cups, that's where it was. First of all, I'm going to mix the yeast, kind of mix it in with the water here. It doesn't have to be done so much because you know what happens is when I put the flour in, the flour gets in there with the water and starts moving around with, with the flour and the water, I mean the yeast in the water. This begins to eat that. Yes, it does. I'm sorry. That begins to eat this. <laughs> and wonderful things happen. It grows, it gets bigger, it will get bigger again, just like what you saw here this morning when I opened that up for you. You saw that it had grown bigger. Now I'm going to mix this all in. And, and my sourdough culture now is jumping for joy at the fact that it's got fresh flour to eat. Once again, I'm using rye flour. There we go. Now it's important to mix this up very well. And tell me what the other ingredient of bread is. Just simple bread. We have water, flour, yeast, and what else? Isn't there something else? Salt. Need a little bit of salt. They all play together very well. When you get the salt in there, they play together very well, but just for a moment, I'm going to just finish this up now and let it sit for a while. Remember that this culture here, this sourdough culture, takes a long time, hours, hours. So I'm going to take my wonderful instrument here, clean this off very well, clean this off very well, set it aside. I'm going to take all of my
my, I can show you here. I'm going to take all of this and bring it all down into one big thing right there in the middle. And we have the beginning of our rye sourdough.